kids with them. Sangra, okay. Just show my water. She is a good friend. Our Walter Kalada Anga. I will encourage you to keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Hollywood picture. TV. 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 Hollywood picture. TV. 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 Surprising for you. <laughs> no, that's wrong, Grandma. It is. I have a surprise for you. Ah. Okay. Thank you. I have a surprise for you. Good. So, what's the surprise? <laughs> I go and see doctor today. <laughs> <laughs> wrong, Grandma again. Uh -uh. It's actually I went to see the doctor today. Good job. Every time, it's only you that be collecting me, collecting me. I don't even have opportunity to collect you. Well, that's because I know book more than you. <laughs> you feel it, this way, you feel it. Uh, uh, teacher said that uh, it's not a um, book. It's uh, educated more than you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Educated yeah. more than you. Yes. I educated more than you. Yeah, no, no, it's actually... I am more educated than you. Good job. I know that you know it. So tell me, what's the surprise you have for me? What did you go to see the doctor for? Okay. Doctor said that I am pregnant. <laughs> One month. Adam, stop kidding. Were you sick? Tell me what you go to see the doctor. I'm Where talking you? through it now. You are pregnant. For real? <laughs> Adam, you're pregnant for me. Oh my god! <laughs> come, 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 come. Oh, I love you so much. I love you too. You see, I knew we were gonna make it. Okay? Abby? Now, we're gonna go upstairs, take some rest, and then we're gonna celebrate in a special way. I'm pregnant, Joe. Wait. I'll bring you food. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait. I can't take this anymore. This whole thing is madness. Total madness. Hey, can you just put your voice down? Keep your voice down before you attract the anger of the gods. Well, let them hear me and get angry. What rat? 
I've been with you in this stinking village for complete two weeks now, and yet I can't even see my husband. You and that wretched old fool kept him in that dirty stinking place. I don't even know if he's still alive. Of course he is alive. Your husband is alive. My brother is alive. Just calm down. The native doctor is busy. He's just doing something. Doing what? Well, I'm going to go in there and see for myself. You dare not do that. Watch me. Are you crazy? Sel Selena, come back here. Selena! Listen, I've warned you, whatever you say, there's entirely a cup of tea, all right? satisfied now huh listen whatever happens to you from this point on is entirely your business because you've defiled the sacrifice already you know what you're as mad as that old man in there i'm leaving for lagos first thing tomorrow morning you can't stay here and fool yourself god why did i even come with you here in the first place because you had no choice or even the slightest knowledge of what to do in the situation of course i do now and I can see you're even the worst illiterate than you call your brother, Ugo. Ah, for the love and respect I have for my brother, I'll let that slip. Do not insult my family. Family? You don't have a family. Excuse me. What is the situation? Ikede is very angry because he has been defiled by a woman from another land and have decided not to continue the cleansing of your brother until a sacrifice be made to appease him before he can finally cure him. That is the situation. All, all right, uh, why? Fine, I understand. So, what are the requirements for the sacrifice? The requirements to appease the Gede is very big. The items that are required are one cow, seven pieces of cola nut, three goats, and other small, small things that we can source locally from this shrine. All these items must be made available on or before 12 days to make the sacrifice effective. Okay. All right, I'll make the items available. But first, I need to get back to Lagos to get some money. Do whatever you can. Be fast, because delay is dangerous. All right. Thank you. You called him an illiterate. 
But you're acting like one I said you called him a nearly trait But you're acting like one By your words and your action There is no difference No difference between the two of you I said you called him a nearly trait But you're acting like one by your words and your actions oh, 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 oh. There is no difference Between the two of you I said you called him an illiterate But you're acting like one By your words and your actions There is no difference No difference Look what? No, 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 no. Did Monica come here to look for me? No, I got she no come. You mean she didn't come here all this while I travel? No, sir, I no see her at all. I've been trying to reach her. Just can't get through to her. What about Selena? Is she home? No, Aga. You never reach one hour where she carry her bag, say she the travel. Travel? Tra travel to where? She talks, say she they go airport, say she they go London. London. Oh my God. What? Hey, I, I, are you serious? Yes, Aga. By the time you read this note, I will be far away in the UK. I didn't marry your brother to come and suffer here with him. I'm gone with the cash of $100,000 I gave him, which I now found in your room. Make do with the rest cash you can find there. Selena. Oh, Christ, you bitch! You bitch, it's not your money! Where the hell are you? Hey! You dare not call me that again. You barbarian! Of course I'm on my way to the airport and back to the States. You dare not. You betrayer. You betrayed your brother by taking him to that monster in that junk to let him die slowly. I'm ashamed your education is a waste. You're a barbarian! You are a thief. You just stole our money. And listen! Bring back that money right now or you will regret it. What money? I gave you everything you have and I'm regretting everything I did for you guys already. Your brother never told you, right? Nah, no, that's a lie. That's a bloody lie. You are a bloody liar. Now listen to me. You sit down there. Sit down at that airport and wait for me because I'm coming to get you. You can't run away with my money. You hear me? Nobody, nobody messes with me. <laughs> well, catch me if you can. Rubbish. Nonsense. Gemma, please, can you speed up, okay? <laughs> Open the gate.
can't run away without money. I swear to God, I'm gonna catch you. Bitch. Oh, not right now, not right now. Brother Joseph. Pastor. How are you doing? I'm fine. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. How long has this man been here? He was brought in here by a good Samaritan yesterday. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. He has been unconscious since yesterday. Had a bike accident. Yes, how did you know, Pastor? Oh, Jesus, Thank you're so Jesus. good. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I keep his life in him in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I command darkness to live in Jesus' name. Amen. Live in Jesus' name. Amen. Be healed in your mind. Be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Be healed in Jesus' name. Come out of this unconsciousness in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, for you have done it again. In Jesus' name. Amen. He's healed now. Get him water to drink. Okay, all right, Pastor. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you so much. <laughs> that is all I remember. That's it, Pastor. That is all I can remember. My fiance, Monica. She's gone with our five million dollar. And my brother's Jeep. And my elder brother, as we speak, is lying half dead in the village. In the heart of a native doctor whom I thought. to London with our money which she claimed to be hers. Pastor. Pastor, right now I, I am so, so confused and helpless. I you no, know, brother. You can't be confused. You can't be helpless. Remember you are born again. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, if anyone is in Christ Jesus is a new creature, the old things are passed away, so you have no past. The Holy Spirit is in you. As for your brother, he will live. 
you will bring him out of that place and he shall live and declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And it shall be so in Jesus' name. Amen. So, don't worry yourself, eh? Don't worry yourself, eh? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Obim, there's something troubling my heart and I want us to talk about it. What is it, dear? It's about your elder brothers. What about them? See, Obim, I understand that they have hurt you. And I also understand that they have broken your heart into a million pieces. But we have to forgive them. We are Christians. Born again. And remember the Bible says that it's very important for our good if we forgive and forget the past. And also for our success. Please don't preach to me about forgiveness, okay? We have survived without them for three years. They were not there when I needed them the most. I don't need them now. I understand. But we still need to forgive them for ourselves first. Not because we actually need them. Ada, please don't get me angry, please. Are you not trying to judge me? Mba. Oh, we know. I'm not trying to judge you. I'm just trying to tell you what we should do. Don't tell me anything, okay? And if this is how you want to spoil tonight, I'm going to leave this bed for you. Please, at least just consider it. Obim. 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 something is still missing in our lives that I I can't really place my hands on it I, I can't really understand bro it's not something it's Ugo he's the one missing yeah you're right he's the one missing who knows where he is right now how are we sure he's still alive? How do we know? I believe he's still alive. I just have that strong feeling that he is alive. And God sees him wherever he is. You know, after all we've been through, I realize one thing. God is merciful. He is merciful and kind to us. You're very correct, my brother. He is merciful. Is so merciful. You know, ever since the day Ugunna left us in tears with bruises all over his body and then rained crosses on us, honestly, I've never felt the same. There was this vacuum I felt in my spirit, an emptiness I couldn't explain. It's just, it's just dawning on me now. His absence is really the cause. I felt the same way too. Ever since that day, there's been this, this sudden fear inside me. You know, I, I just, I, I just couldn't explain it. It's just been there. But thank God we're born again now, because I believe it's all gone. You know, like I, I feel better. Just, I just wish, just wish I can see him, hold him, and apologize to him. Me too. Man, let's go out. Where are we going? Don't okay. oh, worry, let's just, just open, drive out, cruise around. I'm bored staying here, brother. Alright, let me get some.
This should be, um, I think this is 200. Let's count it, count it. If it's not okay, let me know. You're still thinking about the incident, right? I just wish she heard me and stopped. Well, I guess she heard you. But she chose not to stop. Probably she's afraid, definitely. Because she stole our money. Actually, I wasn't after her for the money. How do you mean? I want her to know why she did what she did and then make her perceive Jesus and change her ways. That's all. I guess you, you still love her. Oh, honestly, bro. I don't know. Well, forget about her. She's gone. She's dead now. Gone forever. So she's in the past. I think what we should be concerned about now is how to find Ugo. Because that's the most important thing on my mind now. It is well. Sure it is. Um, do we still have food in the house? In the fridge or something? Yeah, yeah. We have some still. I can, I can just boil some rice. Alright, I'll do that. I'll join you in the morning. Are you still doing up late? Aren't you coming to bed? I don't feel sleepy. It's past 12 midnight. 
I know. So what is wrong? You know what the problem is. So stop pretending like you don't know. My brother's right. Yes, your brothers. You still call them your brothers, yet you can't forgive them. You don't even know what's happening to them. Do they care how we've been faring? It doesn't matter. That's the reason why we are born again. The love of God is shed abroad in our heart. I care about my brothers, but I don't. But I don't want their troubles. Honey, look, it's actually you I'm protecting from them. I know. And I still remember every humiliation that I went through in their hands. I know I'm the one that got hurt the most. But let's forgive them. We are Christians. We can't pay evil with evil. Let us go and look for them. Let's bring them in and forgive them and forget about the past. Please, Obim. Reunite with your brothers. I beg of you in the name of God and your unborn baby. Do this. Please. They are the only ones that would ever and truly love you. That's the only family that you have. Please. I don't even have any of their contacts anymore. Um, I think I have. Um, but I can as a contact in my old my old address book. Let me look for it. Come on, let me get it. so far on that project? Uh, I can guess. A couple of million. Well, about 2.60... Wait. 2.65 million. 2.65 million. Okay. That's, well, we're not doing badly. Because yeah, I was actually thinking that by now we would have spent like 5 million. I think we're doing okay. Add that, I think we're still. You brought your, your phone as well. You said you were thinking of what? I was thinking. Uh... Hello? Hello, who's this? This is Ugo. Ugo? Ugo, where are you? Ugo, we've been looking for you all over the city of Lagos. Please, where are you? I'm in Abuja. Abuja? What are you doing in Abuja? Please, where are you in Abuja? Tell us where you are in Abuja. We'll come there right away. Put the phone on, speaker. Let me, let me talk to you. Ugo? Hello, Ugo? I know you can hear me. This is Ekene. No, Ugo, we are sorry for everything we did to you. We're really sorry. Please forgive us. Can you tell us where you are? Wherever it is, we will come there. We'll come there tomorrow and see you. Huh? Ugo, please tell us your address. Give us your address in Abuja. Where are you, please? We'll come immediately to see you. Ugo? Ugo? Ugo, are you there? Ugo, I know you can hear us. Please. Look, we understand the way you feel. We're really sorry. Ugo? Ugo, please say something now. Please speak. Ugo? 
Ugo, tell us where you are, please. Ugo? I know a lot has happened over these years to every one of us. But I'm so grateful to God for bringing us back together again. You can shout it out, my bro. I'm glad we all recognize his good works in our lives. <laughs> yes, bro. You know, as usual, we will celebrate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then I suggest that you and your wife come down to Lagos and spend some time with us. <laughs> Lagos. Yep. Yeah? Yes. I mean, we can go to Lagos. 
Seriously, what's up if I'm going to Lagos tomorrow with them? No, so soon. Baby, I am bored in this house. Okay? I'm over. It would be a good thing if I gave birth in the house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, fine. We'll, we'll see about that. Okay. One more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Get them bored. I am being pampered. <laughs> Honey, what is it? Are you okay? Yes, I just feel a sharp pain in my chest. But it's, it's, it's okay. Are you sure it is not time for you to go and offload this thing? <laughs> just let us know. Very correct, bro. Let us know so we don't turn to emergency quack doctors. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, my brother. You guys are just so funny. Well, I have um, two more months, so we're in good shape. At least for now. Vera. <laughs> you. Oh. What happened? Oh. What is it again? My fuck just fell down. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, God. What a Right. Right. <laughs> uh, honey, help me out. I'm pregnant. Yeah, you know, just bend down and pick it. confess I am responsible for everything that happened to you and your brothers you are welcome go 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 sit down sit down sit down, sit down. Sit down. spiritual. That's what happened. I'm sure by now they'll be on the lookout for her. What do you want me to do for you? Talk now. Talk what you want. I... I... I want... you to strike him. So that when he sees me, even if he sees me again, he won't ask for the money. It is done. It is done. It is You don't want us to talk about I said it is done. I said it is done. His life will never remain the same again. When he sees me, when he sees me, when he sees me. You don't want us to just talk about now. So just, just the money. You have the money. You have the money. You have the money. You have the money. Yes. Tie the money. 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 a little problem. I know, I know, I know. I know, know that brother. It's my Lord Shadow. It has been taken care of. It has been taken care of. You have the money and the white brother. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. 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 You can leave now. You can leave now. You can leave now. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, please forgive me. I beg you in the name of God. I don't know what came over me. I don't know what pushed me to do what I did. I'm usually not like this. Please. When I saw both of you last month, I realized how foolish I was. The next thing I knew, I saw myself in the hospital. Please, I beg you. This, this is 1.8 million Naira. I, I have things I will sell. I have things I will sell. I, I promise to pay back. Please, I beg you. I'm sorry. Monica. Wait. These words after me. Lord Jesus, I confess that you are my personal Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, I confess that you are my personal Lord and Savior. Come into my life, Lord. Come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Be the Lord of my life. I am now born again. I am now born again. I am now a child of God. I am now a child of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I 